Hello everybody, Marcel Harding here. Welcome to my channel, Marcel Harding. Uh, today I want to talk about um, which is best, more getting more colors or getting more brushes. So we'll talk about that. Um, I only use five colors. I use, uh, as you can see here, which is titanium white here, um, cadmium yellow light, Permanent alizarin, which is kind of leaking, that's cool. Uh, ultramarine, French ultramarine blue, and burnt umber instead of black. The reason I use burnt umber instead of black is because you can mix black with, with blue, 60% blue, 40% burnt umber, and it makes black. So let's talk about that. With the colors, you don't need a lot of colors. But what you need is a whole lot of different styles of brushes, and I'm going to show you why and explain it to you. With colors, all you need is the three the three uh, primary colors, the yellow, red, and blue, and uh, a brown or black and a white. That's all you need. You can mix everything else up. But with brushes, you need a lots and lots of different styles of brushes. Um, if you want to if you want to get a green, you just simply add blue. Blue and yellow. It's pretty pretty basic. Um, and you get a green. And if you want to darken that green, you just add brown. Or you could, or you could use a blue. Um, I'll do another video on gradients some other time. But um, it's pretty basic. And if you want to, if you want a pink, just add white to it, and you get that pink to the red. Uh, I use lizard and crimson. But I'll, I'll do a video on that some other time. And that's pretty basic. And then you, you can mix any colors you want. Um, if you want a purple, you just add uh, blue and uh, a lizard and crimson. And you get a purple. And if you add white to that, you can see how it goes purple. So you can mix basic colors with just, just these five colors. But you want a whole lot of brushes because if you want to you want if you want to cover a lot of area like a sky or something you need a large brush like this this is a size 14. you need a large brush if you want to cover if you want to do a, a sky for example if you want to paint a sky you're going to need a larger brush you need a large brush to cover everything and also you, you want a flat brush so you can Get straight edges. Then, of course, you can make that into a window. That's all good. I know it looks primitive, but just explain it. You know, a flat brush is good for that type of thing. I use a lot of filbert brushes. Um, this is a filbert brush. Filbert brushes doesn't give you sharp edges. And that's good for uh, painting trees and fruit and apples. Want a filbert brush? It's good to have a filbert brush and in different sizes, a smaller one. Um, I love these fan brushes. These fan brushes are really are really good. I like these fan brushes. You can use fan brushes for, for I use a lot of fan brushes for for grasses, edges like grass. Net. I really like them. They're really really cool to have a fan brush. You've got to have a fan brush, especially for landscape painting. Um, I use a lot of sword brushes too for um, for branches on trees and landscape painting and grasses, grass edges. If you want to paint uh, you know, bits of grass coming up, sword brushes. This is what a sword brush looks like. It looks really cool. Um, dagger brushes. I use dagger brushes. Um, they, they're good for a, they're good for. A, for mountains and hills and stuff and you can go this way as well they're pretty cool and of course you've got to have a round brush a round brush is good for all sorts of exercises um for details and on all sorts of things and i have a liner brush here a liner brush will give you uh a nice thin line good for uh painting wire on a fence or something like that 
you know, or here on a or portrait or something. And they're good, good for that sort of thing. You can sign your name as well. They're really good for those type of things. So it's good to have a good variety of brushes. Um, you can have them from large to, uh, this is a flat, large to a smaller one. You could have different sizes, different types of brushes and different sizes of different brushes. Um, this large one is no good for detail, but it fills in a lot of area. The smaller one is more for detail. But you've got to have a lot of good brushes here. I think um, it's good if you limit your amount of palette um, and have a lot more different brushes. I think at the end of the day, which is more important, more colors or more brushes? I'd say more brushes is more important. Um, you really can't go about more using more brushes. To me, it's more important. I couldn't paint what I'm doing without the brushes. Uh, I think more having more brushes is a lot more important than having more colors. But I'll do a, another another video on the on the colors of gradients another time. But so, what's more important to me? More brushes, more colors, or more brushes? More colors, more brushes are a lot more important than more colors because you only need five colors. You only need a very minimum amount of colors. But certainly, brushes are more important than than colors. Um, you got to spend your money, spend them on brushes. Uh, just get minimum amount of paints. You only need a yellow, a red, a blue, uh, a brown or a black, and a white. I use brown instead because it's hard to mix brown. And get black, you just 60% blue, 40% brown makes black. I'll show you in here. And that's pretty much black. As you see. And then you can make grey out of that as well, just by adding white, it gives you a grey colour. But as you can see, um, I think that getting more brushes, different types of brushes, like um, a fan brush, a flat brush, and a filbert brush are probably the most three most important ones. Um, you definitely need um, a round brush and a, a linear brush as well. So, you know, you've got five different types there of brushes there. You definitely need more brushes than you need more paints, more paint colors. Uh, having 20 colors of paint isn't going to get you anywhere. It's, it's not going to get you anywhere. Um, you need to learn how to mix paints. And I'll do that in another chapter. I'll do that in another video. But uh, getting more types of brushes is more important than getting more colors. So this is a short video. I hope you like the video. Like, share, subscribe, and bang that bell. And we'll catch you later.